Okay, next video. Finally found a Cub Original. It's a 1962. Of course, it's got the wrong decal on the hood. I'll put the original decals on it. I'll paint all the white. I'll probably touch up the uh, touch up the frame, paint the wheels. I've got another uh, Firestone tire for it. Been looking for one, been hoping one would pop up local and it did. Oh, about 10 miles from me at an auction. They had two of them, I should have bought them both. But it was one of them online auctions and I didn't get to it in time. I had a proxy bid on this one. I had a certain amount I'd go up to and nobody outbid it, but they had a 63, I think 63, it's the later model. I think that was the last year. It was pretty rough, but it had the fenders on the back of it. This one doesn't have the fenders, which I kind of like the original without them. Got the seven horse color. Serial number is 3061. I think that's an eight or a nine. 30619. Do you remember? Edge is pretty much all stock, except for the muffler. I think at one point they had this, they had this contraption. <laughs> they had this muffler come out of the hood because you can see where they welded a patch panel in. Now it went to the auction, picked it up, gave a 275 plus the buyer's fee. I think it was 288 total, and uh, pulled up the trailer. Bought it on a Sunday, picked it up Monday, and uh, pulled the trailer up and uh, dropped the gate on it. Pushed this tractor on, didn't really look at it, just pushed it on, strapped it down, brought it home, <clears throat> got on it, thought, oh, I wonder if I turn this key on, I wonder if it'll, uh, I wonder if that push button will actually crank the engine. And it did, and it started. So this was a running tractor. Even had gas in it, had a charged battery. Yeah, I was pretty stoked about that. I figured, you know, it's been sitting for years and it's gonna need the engine gone through and the points and the fuel. And no, apparently the guy kept this going. Well, like I said, I got the uh, I got the decal ordered for it. Maple Hunter, Texas. That's the uh, Maple Hunter I got the decals from. They were super cheap. I'm used to the John Deere stuff, and the, the decals for this were forty bucks, I think, shipped. Got the, uh, I don't know what they call it, the uh, front tires, knobby tires in the front, diamond tread, and it's got the Firestone traction tires in the back, the narrows. I actually have two of these tires that I bought for a round fender, a 64 round fender, ran the same rear tire. So I've got two tires that are in great shape. I'm going to use one of them for this. That one's still in good shape, sidewall and everything. This one looks like it got into something. Got a tube in it, so it's holding air, but yeah, it's uh, it's shot. This one here is actually in pretty good shape, besides the overspray. Seat's got to be welded. They're always broke here. The uh, the other one was completely welded. You weld it and grind it down. That's not real noticeable if you if you do a good job on it. I welded the seat up on my 100, and it turned out decent. I gotta put a, uh, the clutch discs on this. I don't know if you can see them in there, but they're, uh, they're hanging out. So I gotta rebuild the clutch on it. Pretty much that's it, the thing runs good. Those clutches hit every once in a while when you start it. it kinda scares you. Let's see. place the bearing in that in the uh, shaft too it's bad it's dry it was missing the uh, international emblem so I took it off of uh, I had an extra one off of 1650 it's supposed to be white outline I think it's metal on the original that's just a plastic one it was free 
I had it. It was hanging in the garage. See where they've opened that frame up right there to adjust it. I'll close that back in. Yeah, super happy with it though. It's in a, it's in great shape. It's an easy restoration. There's not much on this tractor. Straighten the hood out. Paint the seat and weld it. Paint the rims. I'll pick up some Cub Yellow. Looks like the axles, I don't see any leaks on it. The engine doesn't leak. It was in the garage for two days and there was no leaks in the garage floor. Yeah, that's the uh, 1962 Cub Original. Okay guys, till the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya.